Hey everyone, Nickel and Diamond here again. It's already uh, triple digits, so that's why I'm uh, gleaning here in the sun. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do today is start off, I'm working on this big project for adding methanol injection to this truck because there's all these different issues with uh, the direct injection motors and a whole bunch of stuff, and there's a bunch of rumors on the internet, whole, lots of bad information, some misinformation, um, and some good information, and it's all mixed together with a blender. So really hard to separate out what's true. Uh, being a scientist, I like to actually do things scientifically. Uh, so one of the first steps is I decided to go ahead and take off the uh, throttle body and that's where we're going to kind of start this because before adding the methanol injection I want to know what actually is on the backside of the valve. So I have a little inspection camera uh, and that's where I'm going to switch over to next. So uh, we're going to take a look at the inspection camera. I can already see there's tons of garbage on the backside of the throttle body, uh, which tells me that there's probably going to be all kinds of stuff uh, behind the throttle body as well, all through the intake track, oil literally everywhere. So two things I'm going to have to one, uh, improve my catch can apparatus because it's not doing the job. And two, uh, the methanol has a lot of cleaning work to do and you don't want it situated behind the throttle body because of what I just found. So here we go. Let's jump into the actual documentation and talk about the science of what's happening instead of just the internet's opinions. How about it? And here we have our inspection camera that we're going to be using. I don't have to have an expensive one. I've already gone ahead and moved the intake kind of up and out of the way and pulled off the throttle body and ew, look at that. Uh, so all kinds of oil buildup on the backside. Now, keep in mind this is an 80, or this is a 70 rather, 71,000 mile truck. 71,000 miles. And it already looks like this. Now I've pulled the intercooler off and there's not really a lot of uh, material in the intercooler. I had maybe a couple drips. Other people have like a gallon of fluid come out of it or whatever, if you believe the internet. Anyway, um, so my intercooler is not plugged up. I have the catch can uh, arrangement running, uh, one on each side, and they do actually fill up and I get about a, I get about two inches of garbage collected uh, each time I do an oil change. You can also see there's all kinds of stuff. So a whole bunch of people go, well, I want to put the throttle body adapter and then, and then put the methanol injector on the back of that. Problem is you're not cleaning the throttle blade as well. And so all this stuff around here can build up and build up and build up and start causing additional stumbly idle and all kinds of other stuff. So uh, step one, is actually gonna be cleaning this uh, and then kind of cleaning some of the inside of this guy uh, with a little bit of um, brake clean. And that way I can start somewhere and actually get some amount of uh, cleaning going on. Then we're gonna drop the bore scope down its throat, turn the light up so that we can see and see if we can catch the backside of an intake valve and just get an example. I'm not gonna try and hit multiple intake valves, but I'll also get that whole thing on camera, at least kind of do a camera capturing camera thing. It'll probably be fantastic TV, but you'll actually get some sort of a scientific starting point. Then I'm gonna set up the methanol injection system, install it, uh, de deal with the tuning and some of the other things. And then I'll do a before, this is the before, then I'll do an after where we actually look again and see what's inside and if the valves actually start to clean up. So uh, here we go, down into Never Never Land. Next step, clean the throttle body. All right, it's a little hard to see here, but what you're seeing is the valve and just how cruddy and carboned up it is. And that whole intake track is just an absolute mess. Um, no, I can't do direct HD capture or anything like that. But you can see just how much crap is built up on the valves. That is, you can't even tell what the original valve stem looks like. So that is our starting point, And that is what these engines look like, even with only 71,000 miles. So. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and proceed with the methanol injection kit and this will help us to clean all of that garbage out. That's the hope. So 
we'll find out if any of that is true. Now time to pull that out and reassemble, well, most of it. I'm going to take the intake tube off and get that prepped for um, get that prepped for the injection nozzle. And the backside of the throttle body is now all clean. <laughs>